All right, Clay's got a it's an avocado. avocado locked and loaded. You excited to watch an avocado launch out of there? An avocado? An avocado. Avocado? Good morning, welcome back to our channel. We're so glad you guys are here hanging out with us today. Clay and I were laying in bed this morning and both of us looked at each other and said, what should we do today? It literally was like five minutes later, my sister sent me a text and said, hey, do you guys wanna go to the canyon this afternoon? So I was like, yeah, we're meant to go to the canyon. Yeah. So <laughs> we are quickly gonna make some tinfoil dinners and take them up there. Normally I cook them here at home because I am afraid we're not gonna be able to find a fire pit, but my sister has this little candy dandy grill that we're gonna take up there with us, so. Oh, really? But we still do need a fire for it. So hopefully we can find something available to cook our dinners on and we're not stuck with a bunch of raw food up there that's not gonna work. <laughs> very true, because we'll be very hungry. But <laughs> the kids were super excited to know that we were having tinfoil dinners and that we were hanging out with uh, Terry's sister's family. So should be a good time, come hang out with us. Guys, we've got everything prepped ready to go. We got onions, we got potatoes, we got asparagus, we got carrots. If you're wondering where the beef is, it's right here on our counter on this plate. And if you're wondering where Austin is, he's right here. Austin, is the truck ready to go? Yes. Not a boy. We got a tin foil right here, some corn. Is this creamy chicken? Yeah. Creamy chicken soup. Ready to go. Tin foil dinners are completely done. We got everything ready to go, loaded in the truck. We're gonna head up there. My sister will be there very shortly. We're gonna get the fire started and get things cooking because they take a lot longer up there on the fire than they do in the oven. So we gotta get that started before it gets too dark and the kids have to be back because we have school tomorrow morning. So we're gonna get there, get a jump start on it. Hopefully the fire will be going nice and hot when she shows up with the grill. We're just getting up the canyon. My sister found a perfect spot. It's nestled back here in the trees away from everybody else. And we are guaranteed to have a fire. So that's awesome. We don't have to about having raw uncooked food for dinner right here kind of all to ourselves they're not here yet they'll be coming who's ready for dinner me i'm starving i'm gonna get this fire going oh use you your know? boy scout skills and get this fire going yes. did you ever learn how to build a fire at boy yeah. scouts lighter fluid and lighter smash. no that's not how you do it you is he a boy a scout, a <laughs> <man> scout. <laughs> with the drought being so terrible this year it has made the river up here incredibly low low enough that the kids can cross it safely without falling in and drowning so they're over here found some logs they're crossing over to the other side with owen claire and carmen are scooting their little bums across this log to the other side carmen and owen are over there claire be super duper careful carmen come back down right now because it's not safe Well, she made it. Me and Carmen are across the river. We're looking for some deep water so we can look for fish. I don't know if they're gonna be fish in the little river here, but we're gonna look for some fish. We're not gonna be able to find any fish. <laughs> Mother wants us back, so we are heading back. Oh yeah, we got the mother load of wood. I lost my brother. We're going back, because I lost brother number two. There he is. We have to come under this little fog of trees. Hey, yeah, you got it. Okay, we're good. We're good, we're vibing. All right, they're coming back across. Clever, sit on your bum, sis. Just can't hear me, obviously. Kids are coming back across the river. We're gonna get the fire started, get dinner going. Clay's over here trying to get that taken care of. Are you getting started, Boy Scout, Clay? Yeah, I'm going to soon. Let's get it going, because it appears that the Perrys have arrived. Hi, guys. Hi. We are here. Got the chips. Thank goodness. Wait for the we chips. We just brought the chips. They got the yeah. chips. What else did you bring for me to eat? Some <laughs> hot dogs. Hot dogs? This is our bag. All right, we got the fires going. Dinner is cooking. We're cooking ours on this little grill and the fire over there. How's it coming? I don't know yet. We're gonna open this up, check it out. A little bit burnt. I think that was probably pretty well done, isn't it? It's really the potatoes and the carrots you gotta worry about. I'm gonna grab a fork. <laughs> Sounds good. While we're up here in the canyon, the kids are hoping to do some fishing, so Austin is digging in the dirt right here. You guys, it has been raining for the past week, and the mud 
and dirt is super, super soft right now, so he's digging, looking for worms, hoping to find some that we can add to the fishing poles. Austin, how many worms have you found? Five. Five worms? So over here digging holes, he's collecting worms in this little, that's how we're gonna catch our fish. It's <laughs> gross. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna help find worms? Yeah. Maybe come come dig in this dirt right here where Austin's got it loosened up. Dinner is done. How is it, Oe? Claire Bear? Holy moly, you're you're almost done already. She did. She's already eating for everybody. Guys, dinner was absolutely delicious. We are now moving on to the potato cannon. It has made the trek up the canyon with us tonight. There's nobody around, so we are gonna launch this thing off. We're gonna have a few potatoes. We have a few rotten avocados that I did not get to use fast enough before they went bad. So we're gonna launch those out of this. Also, the potatoes that we are using are also rotten, so we are not wasting good food. Everything that we are gonna launch would have gone in the garbage anyways. All right, Clay has got a- it's an avocado. Avocado locked and loaded. I'm excited to watch an avocado launch out of there. An avocado? An avocado. Avocado? <laughs> it's an avocado. Thanks. Austin's showing us how it's done. You gotta twist it a little bit, Carl Malone style. <laughs> Disappointment. Just a few technical difficulties, Carl. We'll get it. Boys, you're making me nervous. <laughs> 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 I don't get why it's not working. Woo! Oh, <laughs> Wait, I'm the watching! <laughs> Alright, boys, what's in there now? Is it a potato or another avocado? Okay. Potato. Potato. Alright, everybody behind Austin. Don't go straight up. <laughs> if it gets lodged in there, it'll keep the cap out. <laughs> Thing gets me every time. <laughs> That's <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 Dude, that went. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that was the potato on the bottom, avocado on top. I think the avocado exploded. We took down like half the yeah. tree. Like, <laughs> we got Ow, one that hurt. Are you serious? Ow, yes. Avocado fireworks. One avocado left. <laughs> Look at the end of the barrel. Gross. <laughs> Don't worry, sir. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just leave it like that. <laughs> No. This is like just sliding down, like I'm barely pushing on it. Carmen's <laughs> got some avocado in her. That wasn't from it flying out. I think that was just from when I squished uh, it in there. Do you have any more potatoes? Anything we get shit out of this? Yeah, I brought more potatoes. Guys, we have made it back home. We're just putting our things away. We got the potato cannon put safely back in the garage. Carmen has got the guacamole washed out of her hair. Looking good, ready for bed. Both the girls took a shower. So they no longer smell like smoke. <laughs> we do not want to get a smoke smell in our sheets. No. Absolutely not. The smoke smells horrible. Are you guys ready for bed? Yes. Are you going to bed? Yes. yes. Have you brushed your teeth? Yes. No, she hasn't. Carmen, yes. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> That's a big no. Carmen's still got to brush her teeth, apparently, and then she'll be ready for bed. Oh, she always lies about brushing her teeth. I'm like, I know you have it. <laughs> <laughs> Like Gotta that. brush them. Guys, we love going up the canyon. It's uh, super close, super fun. And we also love launching stuff. That's <laughs> becoming like one of our favorite things to do when we go up there. As long as there's not too many people around, you know, we don't want to scare anybody because it does make a little bit of a sound when it goes off. A little bit. Just a little. Just a slight just, sound. Just a small sound. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't, we don't want to scare anybody, but it is a ton of fun. So, guys, we appreciate you watching. We love you. And I'll see you guys back here tomorrow.